It was a, a Saturday. Um, I've got a. I, I like to run 5Ks and other things on Saturdays, and I, I was with one of my daughters. And about the time we came home, uh, a high intensity rain started. Um, I, I've noticed over the years when you get the high intensity rain events, that's what really makes these rivers dirty. And so I wanted to document this, and so I pulled out my iPhone and started filming. The whole event only lasted about 20 minutes, but shortly after it started raining, it was so intense, the water started running across the field and uh, in a matter of minutes, the, the bottom of the field was uh, a, a little lake and there was a gully forming along the edge of the field. Uh, the flow was channelized to that point and several other points across the field. So I, I just kept filming. So I went to the other side of the road where a culvert came out. So the water's running across the field going through this culvert and then it fell about five feet to a ditch that went uh, directly to the river. Raindrops, the, the big raindrops from these events, they fall at a rate of about 25 miles an hour. The size of the raindrop is very big. Hits the soil, and soils after fields are planted, is uh, it's, it's very fine. It's, you know, pulverized soil, very prone to erosion. So these raindrops hit the soil and, and dislodge the soil particles. Once dislodged, they're easily carried in runoff. And, and that often occurs after these high intensity rain events. Uh, the, the, the soil hard pans, you get kind of a crust on top. And the soil that is remaining on top of that crust is very easily picked up and, and carried by wind. The, the same person leaves a lot of residue on his field. There was virtually no wind erosion at all. And this other field was, was you know, eroding uh, severely from the wind. You get an event like this, the raindrops will hit the crop, They'll, the energy will be dispersed you know, on, on the crop itself, and the raindrops will be broken into smaller raindrops. The soil integrity is, is uh, preserved, and a lot of that rain will infiltrate, and the crops will also pull that up. Okay. There is about a 30-day period, you know, actually probably two months, when these soils are really vulnerable to erosion. But for that first month, typically we get these low energy, big frontal systems coming in. So the, the rainfall intensities are very low. They might, might rain for two days, but it doesn't rain hard enough to cause much in the way of overland flow. Then we get to the severe weather season and, uh, and, and the high energy convective cells, and they can cause a tremendous amount of erosion. There's, there's a lot of activities that could go in place on these landscapes to prevent or slow that water down, prevent a lot of that sediment from reaching the river as well as agricultural practices that can, can minimize that. I, I, I want to try and make this world a little better place and I see a lot and the ability for me to take what I see and carry it out to others, uh, I think that's the first step in, in causing change or you know, hopefully in, in uh, prodding some change along in these landscapes.